What's going on Dolphins fans? Jacob here, Mommy Dolphin Syndicate. It's the first time I've done a review where I'm actually properly set up and got my stuff out here for you guys instead of being in a car, instead of doing it on my phone. We're doing it real this time. We're doing it for a Miami Dolphins victory. Three and six now in the season, taking down the Rams 23 to 15. A game that was just, it didn't feel like a Dolphins game at all. And this team this year has felt so against the grain from what we expected it. The big plays are pretty much gone. The offense. Devon A. Chan hasn't bust free really all year long. Tyree Kill has had a few plays, had that had that big touchdown week one, and has some decent plays since then, but is gets in the end zone for the first time today since week one. Uh the role players stepped up. The other guys, the guys not named Tyreek, not guys not named Tua the, on defense, guys not named Jalen Ramsey, all of which played good, but the guys that were next, the guys that had expectations to fill up the rest of this roster, and at times we haven't seen guys like that step out, step up on this roster. I'm talking about Jonu Smith with a massive catch in Rams territory, taking us to the one-yard line, getting that Tyreek Hill uh, touchdown. Uh, guys on defense like Calais Campbell, and he's not a other guy per se but certainly somebody who a lot of nfl fans probably don't even realize on the dolphins 38 years old still getting it done still getting sacked still having massive impact on this team uh cater who had a decent game uh goes down with injury but able to come back at the end uh the defense in general the the thing that we we heard so often last year from coaches from just it was just Coach Speak 101 was the bend, don't break approach to defense all year long last year. And just in general with Fig Fangio, what we heard is, you know, bend, don't break. Even before that, uh, with the previous defensive regime, was a lot of that mentality. However, today, they actually did it. No touchdowns allowed. Only the second time that a that a Rams offense led by Matthew Stafford has ever done that. The ability to do that uh, on offense. Big plays by Malik Washington getting his first touchdown of his career on very little touches. Got really involved in the offense today compared to what we've seen from him and other guys low on this chart, uh, on this Miami Dolphins wide receiver depth chart. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr., again, another guy not going to really blow up the stat sheet. Only had two catches for 17 yards, but a very impactful third down catch and just using his knowledge as a pro to get in a good position for Tua to get the ball, scrambling outside the pocket, just posting up in the open area of the zone defense, just beyond the first down marker and picking up the first down. Malik Washington, Jonu Smith, Odell Bell, Odell Beckham Jr., all these guys on offense that in years past were not producing for the Miami Dolphins, they stepped up big today. Last year, the year before, two years with Mike McDaniel, this Miami Dolphins offense had to run on big plays. They had to get Tyreek Hill open wide, wide open downfield. They had to get Devon A. Chan and have him use his speed and creativity to bust out a 70-yard play. Those big plays are not happening, and the Miami Dolphins just won a football game. Very anti-Miami Dolphins, and this does show the what Mike McDaniel has done to fix some of the errors over his first couple years and really adapt to what teams are doing to him. Something that's been a pretty big criticism on this channel from both Donovan and I is Mike McDaniel's lack of an ability to adapt to what opposing defenses are doing. So last year, being able to take advantage of bad teams in early on the season like the Denver Broncos or around the midway point in the season like the Jets and the Commanders, bad teams Mike McDaniel was able to easily outcoach then coming against some of the better coach teams with Harbaugh in Baltimore, of course, and obviously McDermott at the end of the season getting in with the Bills getting into the playoffs. Against those better coach teams, we saw the Miami Dolphins crumble. And this certainly isn't the best form we've ever seen the Los Angeles Rams at, but they still have their top dog in Matthew Stafford. They still have weapons for him, Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, who are now healthy. Kyron Williams has been really good in the backfield for the Rams, and all led by Sean McVay. So a genius at the head coaching position, really a revolutionary in just in terms of offensive coaching in this league. The ability, the desire to hire young coaches comes through Kyle, or comes through Sean McVay. If Sean McVay doesn't get the job, if he doesn't go on and win a Super Bowl, doesn't have the immediate success, especially on the offensive side of the ball that we've seen from the Rams since Sean McVay has taken over as head coach, do we even have a Mike McDaniel at head coach here with the Miami Dolphins? The answer is probably not. Mike McDaniel probably doesn't get that opportunity for another 10 to 15 years or so because he's so young. Instead, now teams are trying to force feed up the ladder these young offensive-minded guys, and that's how a Mike McDaniel raises to the top. I thought this was overall a really good performance. 
it wasn't very fun football for the casual casual viewer. The first drive of the game was was fantastic. Tua going four for four, uh, getting Malik Washington his first touchdown of the season. The Dolphins just moving the ball at will. But that was not the rest of the game. The Dolphins couldn't do that. We had a couple three and outs in there. We had a few turnovers in there, a few individual mistakes. I didn't mention Jason Sanders, three for three, long of 50 today. Big game from Jason Sanders to be able to convert on his opportunities. Getting was getting to that point earlier on the season where he started to get shaky again, but has now started to pick up that consistency yet again, including the game ceiling kick. The Rams obviously go in, go on and kick a field goal there at the end uh, to bring it back to a one score game. However, he misses that. They're going for a touchdown. They get the touchdown. They're going for two. Jason Sanders big. Those three guys I mentioned on offense so big. The defense with the injuries with going with guys going out. The defensive line which has really been the weakness of this team, getting in the backfield. Chop Robinson having a sack early on and being in the backfield very often throughout the remainder of the game. Cam Smith still sucks. He sucks. That just is what it is. He's not a good coverage corner. He is lost out there. There will be some guys, including Donovan, who will defend Cam Smith because of his inexperience and how he is so raw. And, you know, he didn't get a lot of time last year, so this kind of is a rookie year for him. However, he has certainly not hit the ground running. And Kendall Fuller, who he goes in for, hasn't been much better himself on the opposite end of the spectrum. He looks cooked. Jordan Poyer didn't necessarily look bad today, so I don't have a lot to say about him. There is some. There are obviously really old pieces on this Dolphins defense that... In the last few weeks against really good offenses have gotten exposed, which didn't get exposed today. Defense, Ben didn't break. They only give up field goals. Hold them at the end. The offense does just enough. Tua made some big throws. He had some pretty poor decisions like taking a 15-yard sack. And obviously the interception and the fumble was not ideal, but... Mostert held on to the ball. He had a big catch and run for a first down. Devon Achan just doing the little things close to the line of scrimmage. Did not really have a good game per se from him, but it was kind of due. He's really exploded. He was always getting 60 yards both in the air, on the ground, getting in the end zone. He doesn't do any of that today, but still has an impact getting the Dolphins to second and six on first down. and is always a weapon there on the field. Tyreek Hill, we knew going to the game he wasn't going to be 100%, so I don't think we saw a full full flown full full potential Tyreek Hill who really could show you what he could do against a rather poor Ram secondary who to their credit played well today. We didn't get to see that fully from Tyreek Hill and I believe a lot of that is due to the injury with the wrist flaring up. A lot to like, a lot to dissect, but the Miami Dolphins a game and a half back out of the final playoff spot in the AFC and the three teams currently ahead of them in the standings have all not had their bye week yet. So the Dolphins will have a game advantage of them against them against for the rest of the year. Big game coming up this week against the Raiders, and then a quick turnaround to Thanksgiving night against the Packers. Look, they got a chance. They got a chance. You had to win tonight. You won tonight. You heard on the broadcast. I think it was Aikman said they got to win something like seven out of the last nine games to maybe make the playoffs. Well, they started that tonight. Three and six now on the season. Ugly season, but. They still are finding a way to win games in a very non-Miami Dolphins fashion. Let me know your thoughts on the game down below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about all those extra guys I mentioned, like the Odell Beckhams, the Johnu Smiths. Let me know your thoughts on those players down below and the game while down there. Hit that like button. Hit that sub, pro, sub button. We appreciate y'all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your night. Go Dolphins.